Hello everyone, this is Brian. Hope you're doing well this evening. I want to come to you very quickly as a follow-up to the video I made last week in regards to the spacecraft being lifted off into outer space last weekend on May the 30th during the weekend of the Feast of Pentecost. And uh, you may recall in that video, if you've not seen it, I would encourage you to click on the link above and uh, you can watch this video that I made last weekend. And I shared with you that they were launching this first manned aircraft from the United States since July of 2011. And uh, all eyes were on this weekend watching this spacecraft launch from the Kennedy uh, Space Center from the launch pad ascending up into the heavens. It was amazing. I enjoyed watching it, my family and I. And you may recall in that video that I may mention that the precise launch time was 3.22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Where I live on the East Coast, again, we were watching it and we saw it lift off at precisely 3.22. But you may remember in the video that I showed last week and produced that as I saw the launch time, that the Lord spoke to my heart about 3.22, on the timing of the launch, 3.22. So what I did was I said, that, you know, I just, you know, it was just something that spoke to me and, and, and the Lord just laid upon my heart Revelation chapter three, verse 22. So what I did, I looked up Revelation chapter three, verse 22, and the Bible says, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. What the Spirit saith unto the churches. And you recall Revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3 that John is writing about the seven churches. And you know, last weekend was also the Feast of Pentecost of the arrival of the Holy Spirit 2,000 years ago on earth. And also, too, we find about the launch of the church. And I use the similarity of the launch of this spaceship, this rocket into outer space, using that analogy that the, ch the church is going to launch once again. What I just learned this evening from someone who follows us on our, on our YouTube channel, I apologize right now because I can't remember the exact, exact channel name who communicated, who commented on our YouTube channel, but they said in the Strong's Concordance, look this up, in the Strong's Concordance, number 322 means to lift off, to lift off. Wow. I'm telling you, it says to lift off and to lift up and to show, that's what it says, to lift up, to lift off and show. Can I tell you what a confirmation to me when I read that? And I wanna thank once again, and again, I apologize because I cannot remember the individual who commented on my YouTube channel, but I wanna thank you for bringing that to my attention. What a confirmation. Listen, on this channel, we will not set dates. We don't know when Jesus is coming, but this is for sure. Jesus is coming soon. I don't know when Christ is coming, but there's coming a time where the church, the body of Christ, is going to lose all gravitational pull, and we're going to lift off this earth to meet the Lord in the air. That's a promise right from the words of the Bible. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through verse 18. So I just want to give you that uh, update there that I learned this evening. It just, what an assurance and a confirmation to me. 322. Look it up for yourself. Revelation chapter 3, verse 22, and the very next verse, Revelation 4, 1. It says, come up hither. It's a rapture verse. So again, Revelation 3, 22 is the last verse of chapter 3, and the very next verse is the rapture. So again, I'm just encouraged tonight, and I pray that this is encourages you as well. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening, and remember to keep looking up. Jesus is coming soon.